Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on vectors. Here is the exam question. Relative to a fixed origin O, the point A has position vector A ti minus 3j plus 2k. The point B has position vector ti plus 2tj plus 5tk, where t is a non-zero constant. This means that t is not equal to zero. Part A show that the magnitude of A to B squared is equal 30t squared minus 24t plus 77. Ladies and gents, please pause the video, have a go at part A once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Okay, so let's have a look at the solution to part A. The point A has position vector A time minus 3J plus 2K. This means that the vector O to A is equal 8 minus 3, 2. The point B has position vector Ti plus 2TJ plus 5TK. This means that the vector O to B is equal T. 2t, 5t. I'm going to start by finding the vector a to b. Because we're dealing with position vectors, this is given by ob minus oa. So we've got ob minus oa. So t, 2t, 5t minus 8 minus 3, 2. I can subtract the two vectors. So my i component is t minus 8. My j component is 2t plus 3. My k component is 5t minus 2. Now I'm going to find the magnitude of the vector a to b. This is given by square root i component squared plus j component squared plus k component squared. Now I can take the square on both sides. So I've got the magnitude of a to b squared is equal, if I square this side, this will eliminate the square root. So I've got t minus eight squared plus two t plus three squared plus five t minus two squared. And that is my expression on the right hand side. So I can open up these brackets, expand and simplify. After simplifying, I get therefore the magnitude of a to b squared is equal precisely this quadratic. So we've got 30 t squared minus 24 t plus 77 as required. Let's move on to the next part of the question. Hence, so we have to refer back to our answer in part A. Find part one, the value of t when the magnitude of a to b takes its minimum value. Please pause the video, have a go at part one of part b. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part one of part B. Ladies and gents, we know that the magnitude of A to B squared is a minimum when D over DT of the magnitude of A to B squared is equal zero. This implies that D over DT of 30 T squared minus 24 T plus 77 has to equal zero. So now we're going to differentiate the quadratic with respect to t. So we've got 60t minus 24 equal 0. We rearrange and work out t. So this implies that 60t is equal 24, and so t is equal 24 over 60. If I simplify, I get t equal 2 over 5. Okay, so we know that the magnitude of a to b squared is a minimum when t is equal to 2 over 5. Hence, it is also true that the magnitude of a to b is a minimum when t is equal to 2 over 5. This completes part 1 of part b. Let's move on to part 2 of part b. Right, so we've got hence find the minimum value of the magnitude of a to b, giving your answer as a simplified set. So let's have a look at part two of part b. Right, so we have that the magnitude of a to b squared is a minimum when we substitute t equal 2 over 5 into this expression, this quadratic expression. So we've got 30 multiplied by 2 over 5 squared minus 24 multiplied by 2 over 5 plus 77. So I can put this into my calculator and I get 361 over 5. 
Hence, the magnitude of a to b is a minimum when we take the square root of this. So square root of 361 over 5. So what I need to do is write this as a simplified set. This will be 19 root 5 over 5. This completes part 2 of part B of the question. Moving on to part C of the question. Given that first bullet point, the magnitude of A to B takes its minimum value. So we know that A to B takes its minimum value when T is equal to 2 over 5. Second bullet point, the point C lies on AB such that C divides AB in the ratio of 5 to 3. Part C, find the coordinates of C. Please pause the video, have a go at part C. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. For simplicity, in part C, I'm going to be looking at sketch in two dimension. So here is my sketch in two dimension. Right, now, in the question it says that the point C lies on AB such that C divides AB in the ratio of 5 to 3, which means that C would be somewhere over here. A to C is going to be 5 over 8 of A to B. C to B is going to be 3 over 8 of A to B. We've got the vector O to A and we've got the vector O to B. We can also label the vector O to C. Now, in part C, we want to find the coordinates of C. So find the coordinates of C. In other words, we're trying to find the vector O to C. That's what we're trying to calculate. Now, the vector O to C is given by O to A plus A to C. We don't know the vector A to C, but we know the equivalent of the vector A to C. The vector A to C is technically 5 over 8 of A to B. Now the vector A to B is given by this over here. So we've got t minus 8, 2t plus 3, and 5t minus 2. Now, our first bullet point is the magnitude of A to B takes its minimum value. So we have that the magnitude of A to B takes its minimum value. Now, this is true if T is equal to 2 over 5. So now we're going to substitute T equal to 2 over 5 into here. So we've got the vector A to B is given by substitute t equal 2 over 5 into this and we get minus 38 over 5 19 over 5 and 0 okay so now we can substitute this vector into here and we can also substitute the vector o to a into here so we've got o to c is given by o to a which is 8 minus 3 2 plus 5 over 8 lots of A to B. Okay, so we've got O to C is equal 8 minus 3, 2, plus we can multiply the I, J and K component by 5 over 8. So if I do this, I get minus 19 over 4, 19 over 8 and 0. Now I can add the two vectors together. So the vector O to C is equal 13 over 4 minus 5 over 8 and 2. Therefore, the coordinates of C would be the following. 13 over 4 minus 5 over 8 and 2. That day, ladies and gents, completes part C of the question and this teaching video, pure mathematics exam question on vectors. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.